What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of the Jones Family Channel. Okay, it's me, Ricky Jones Jr., and I will be doing a reaction video to the Walter Botanical Garden. Let's go! What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the it's me, Ricky Jones Jr., like I said before, and I'm back again for another reaction video. Again, getting my minds and my mentals ready for what all Johannesburg, South Africa has in store for the Jones family before we move there, okay? And so somebody said that I should do a reaction video to the Botanical Garden, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and switch my specs out to my reaction shades. Y'all already know your boy got to make sure everything is lined up the way it needs to be so this one happens to be done by my brother Assad okay so I will be doing a reaction video to his video when they went to the botanical garden which is hilarious y'all so let's go ahead and check it out all right y'all look how pretty this entrance and establishment is just all naturey <laughs> all naturey I'm gonna stop right here and say Come on now, y'all know that legendary laugh is unlike any other. My brother Asada, which I love dearly. I saw this video, so this is actually one reaction video that I've already seen, but it's been a little bit of time. And so y'all want to make sure y'all stay tuned because it's some hilarious parts that we're going to be able to enjoy. Shouts out to the fam. All right, y'all. I don't know how well this camera is working. Brother, you're good. Look at the views. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Uh, oh, we got a waterfall over there too. Waterfall. This, this is all right. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Look at all that green. I mean, the landscape here is beautiful. I used to... It's an echo. I used to wonder, like, why do you have nature reserves? My brother. Protecting stuff? We need to just build houses and build buildings. But, no, when you actually see something beautiful uh, as, as, as nature, when you see nature and as beautiful as it can be, you definitely want to preserve some of this stuff, right? And I already feel myself getting winded. <laughs> <laughs> And what's funny is you can see the entrance like right behind him where they pay for the tickets and all that. It's right behind him, so. Whatever it is, it's disgusting. I'm sorry. So, Austin, what do you, Austin, what do you uh, what do you call those things? Hybrid. Yeah, hybrid. Oh, pelican and chicken. He said they're a hybrid of a pelican and a chicken. Hmm? Yeah. Hope they're not just walking around. Just look at the scenery. It's beautiful. Just look at all this beauty. So for those that don't know, I'm actually a gardener as well. So when I see like natural plants and things like that growing, I'm already thinking about bees. I'm thinking about butterflies. I'm thinking about pollinators. So seeing that brings me joy knowing how beneficial and necessary bees are to the world itself. So when you have things like that, you want to preserve it. Okay, so... Shouts out to Dr. Sai. He's right. Some things you should preserve. I wonder if anybody ever climbs up to the top of that part right there. Wow. You know, be me. You know, all the way up to the top. That seems pretty high up there, too. You have to get us going up, too. Yeah. Aiden, I mean, Austin tying the shoe. So yeah, little uh, play area for the kids. So y'all already know I'm happy. I'm happy and satisfied because I know my kids love parks. But more than anything, we love parks and we love trails, walking areas, and green areas, which should be told, this is the stuff that is not being shown or shared or known as it pertains to Africa as a continent, but even specifically in South Africa. Like, 
we don't we don't see these things we don't know these things exist however it does people are living there people are enjoying it there and i will too okay i'm just saying come on now don't sleep on south africa i think my kids might be a little too old for her, but it's cool my kids my kids not <laughs> oh it's a tunnel you want to go in the tunnel aiden yes go ahead. go see guys going in the tunnel <laughs> big kids right Maybe you're supposed to go in that way. It looks like everyone's coming out the same way. Not me. Not me. Amer American kids and I used to go in anything with nature. <laughs> At least black American kids. But yeah, they, they went into the old tunnel. Oh, there he is. There he is. Where's your, where's your baby brother? Oh, I didn't realize this thing was still recording. <laughs> Oh, That's man. beautiful. I'm gonna put it up just like that too. Oh, <sighs> that pretty that is, y'all. Come on now, who knew this existed in South Africa? Okay, I'm gonna keep my hand down. Wouldn't even have thunk it. Wouldn't have thought it, right? However, look at how beautiful this is to my South African family that are watching these videos. When is the last time you've been there? When is the last time you've been to the Botanical Garden? Let me know in the comment section below because if you haven't in a while, don't sleep on the beauty that you all have there. Different things that we don't even have here in the States, right? In every state, we don't have such things as this. Um, but even in Florida, I, I can't think of something that looks like this, that resembles this. However, in Johannesburg, I know where I'll be. Is that a whole this waterfall? Is city, this is in the city of Johannesburg, Mike. Millions and millions of people, concrete jungle, big old buildings. Time out. Time out. Time out. This is time out, right? Um, this is in the city? 20 minutes from the city of Joburg, which is like a metropolis similar to New York, there is this beautiful luscious green park with a waterfall that we're walking to and a water area, water feature scenario that we just walked over. This is all in the city? Come on now. Where else are you getting this? Where else does this takes place? Let me know. Come on now. I can't think of one place, but I do know the place, which is Johannesburg, South Africa, that I'll be able to enjoy all of this in one place, in one package. Oh man, my love for Johannesburg grows by the minute. That's quite amazing. You don't have to drive two hours or take a flight to the oh, Niagara Falls. I mean, it's definitely not Niagara Falls. That might be a little different, but <laughs> I'm just saying like in the middle of a city, this is what you have, right? Come on. How cool is that? Wow. Just the sound alone, right? Not even in taking in the beauty of it. Like, check, beauty's there, but the sound of a waterfall flowing, you can't beat that. Like, some things you just can't package up, you can't mimic, you can't mock, but the sound of a waterfall will put a grown man to sleep, a baby to sleep, me to sleep if I'm over there long enough. Come on now. I be soaking it up too, all of this. Wow, seems like he's in the water. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, everybody get up these, this uh, hike here. 
see how long it takes us. I'm going to stop right here and say this is the beauty of having older kids. Um, I know if I was to be doing this trail, I would be holding both of my kids' hands. You know what I'm saying? Because I can see there's no railing or anything like that. Therefore, safety is a priority. And what goes up must come down as far as me and my family. So making sure everybody is safe and secure will be on my mentals. However, with the side having, you know, older kids, they can just frolic and go as they feel. But um, I'm loving what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm down for a trail, truth be told. <laughs> my brother was tired y'all did you hear him? i heard the deep breaths and all in the camera when that says to me that says to me make sure my shoes are adequate enough to do some climbing and walking and things like that make sure i have enough of the aqua the liquids to make sure everything just stays replenished and revived as i am taking this here nature walk and nature trail but then too just making sure hey kids we know what we about to get into and so i don't want to hear no crying no bickering we trying to get to the top the top of what? I don't know, but we're going to find out, but we're going to try to get to the top. Uh, another break. <laughs> oh, that was some steep climbing. climbing. The view is beautiful. However, like little things as far as like a side, Dr. Side keeping in his heavy breathing in the video, I appreciate it. that authenticates the experience that I'm gonna partake in when I do take this voyage and this climb on this here, you know, mountain botanical garden scenario situation. So shouts out to you, Dr. Side. You let me know what's to come and what I can expect. See what the old man looks like? All this sweat coming off my head, walking up this stuff, man. And we still gotta go up that and across that way. Not too far from the from the end. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh we're jogging on a treadmill and ascending up the side of a incline or mountain, two very different things. Two very different things. So what we are seeing too is my brother stalling. Okay, that's what he's doing right now. This talking that he's saying he's doing for footage, he's catching his breath, which I respect. Again, I know what I'm getting myself into when I partake in such a voyage as yourself, Dr. Asai. However, what I did see as well was the railing was on the left. However, the steps look a little awkward. So I don't know if we're gonna make it that high. You know what I'm saying? I might just blame it on the kids. <laughs> Let's get started. Last. Incline. Oh God. Oh God. You can do it, brother. All right. So we made it, I guess, to the top, near the top. And uh, yeah, just beautiful. Think that this again, y'all. This is in the middle of a city. Like, if you can look over there, realize it. If I can. Yeah, houses right over there. Right. Houses, entire neighborhoods nearby. But, um, yeah, just imagine this. So, yeah, we made it to the top. Everybody's taking a little break, whatever have you. I'm sweating like a runaway slave. Wow. And, uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. So, I'm curious, right, because there were no animals that came out, which is, you know, that's what you want. Um, however, I didn't hear any talks about mosquitoes or anything like that. Is that even a thing? Um, I don't even remember dealing with mosquitoes when we visited. Um, so I'm even just thinking, was that even a thing for us? Which I can't remember any of it. He didn't talk about it, reference it. So let me know in the comment section below, are mosquitoes a thing or any animals out there? Is that even a thing? Which, just curious. And 
and uh, give you a little bit more of what it looks like behind us. So, you know, I guess you can go up a little bit more, but I don't think they have any area where they like carved out the rocks to make the ascent easier. I think we're gonna walk this way and just see what's happening over there and then head back down. So thank you guys for checking out our little vlog. Nah, man, I appreciate you, Dr. Saw, for taking this voyage for us, but then also, too, for letting me know, suggesting it to me to do this here reaction video in which it's exciting to know that in the midst of a metropolitan city, there is a botanical garden where I can see a water feature, a waterfall, nice green luscious grassy areas but then also to a mountainous trail that we're able to ascend up to the tippy top or however far you want to go right there were seats along the way as you rescind it so you may not make it to the top but you can make it however far you can and then make your way back down so shouts out to joe bird shouts out to south africa and all of the beautiful 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 sights there are to see because believe me me and my family <laughs> <laughs> we'll take part in them all and we'll definitely make sure we vlog the journey so make sure y'all tap in click that subscribe button if you haven't already done so so far hit that thumbs up for not only this reaction video but for Asad, Dr. Asad and the video that he did himself and click that bell notification so that you know when other content other videos are to come and if you have anything that you would like for me to do reactions to let me know in the comment section below and I'm gonna do them bad boys just blindly I'm gonna just click it and I'm gonna hit record and I'm gonna do a reaction video and y'all gonna see the results of those videos here. All right, great people. Until then, peace.